Hello, I'm Trevor Alonzo, and this is my reaction to Joker, Fale Adieu, the second trailer. Okay, really the first trailer, the other one was a teaser, but come on, that one moves long. At first I thought, why are they releasing this trailer today and not at Comic-Con? But then I realized Deadpool and Wolverine actually come out this weekend. So they're probably trying to get this R-rated trailer right in front of an R-rated comic book movie. This sequel is taking place a couple of years after the last one, so about 1982, which means the chances of seeing a Batman cameo are really slim. Although they could surprise us with a really young Bruce Wayne learning to be a vigilante, but I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. We do know that the trial of Arthur Fleck is a big plot point this time around. It looks like they're touching on the subject of if your criminal trial is on TV, does it make you worse? Does it feed into your psychotic ego? Which, this does make the Joker more of a celebrity. I and mean, think about it, it gives him a stage to be on. It looks like in this version that Harley Quinn is a patient in the asylum, whereas in the comic books, she was actually a doctor and then she became the Joker's lover. Okay, the last movie, we don't know for sure if everything was in the Joker's head or what actually happened. We do know a few things that didn't happen, and I hope they don't retcon this for this movie. I hope they keep us the audience guessing. That being said, and I said this in my reaction to the teaser, I wonder if all of this is taking place in Harley Quinn's head. Is this all in her perspective? Does the Joker even actually meet Harley Quinn? You could guess on some things that are real and not real. You could guess that some of the trial that they show because he's wearing Joker makeup, is that made up? But I'm gonna guess that Harley Quinn actually gets the makeup to the Joker, not that he shows up in Joker makeup. We can probably guess for sure the Joker and Harley Quinn show that they show clips of is definitely in their head. Whether it's Joker making it up or Harley Quinn making it up, or it's this weird psychotic fantasy they have, and in real life, it's not going on, because of course they're not going to actually have a show. But who knows, maybe the Joker is actually forcing Harley Quinn to be in all this. Which would be reminiscent of the comic, where Harley Quinn's forced to do a lot of stuff. So who knows? In case you haven't heard before, I'm a huge Batman fan. I'm really looking forward to this. And again, I'm more than sure we're not going to see Batman in this, but who knows, we might see a young Bruce Wayne, or we might see a young Jim Gordon actually take out the Joker. I'm definitely gonna go see this. Let me know if you have any ideas or theories on what's gonna happen in this. Thank you for watching my video.